Johnny, you're getting baptised today. So I thought you'd But Johnny, I also understand it's a very special day for you as well. What would that day be? My birthday. Yeah! Excellent. seen very, very strongly and um, it's given me the strength um, to kind of knock some of those barriers down. It's just been amazing and he's blessed me tenfold with the most amazing friends, the support. Um, I'm being cycled by Will and Johnny, who you're obviously going to hear from later today. <laughs> Wonderful, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and just obviously I've had you guys for 18 years, which has been just amazing. Um, and yeah, I want to be, I want to be obedient to, uh, to God, yeah, whatever he says. It's, um, it's not often that you're able to do something from the Bible that, um, that Jesus has told you explicitly to do um, in front of in front of your family. And I just, I just, yeah, I really want to do this. So yeah. Hi everyone. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Dan. It's not my birthday. <laughs> I guess I'll, I'll start to thank my family for being here and my friends as well. Um, my family particularly have been such a big part um, of my life. Um, I also grew up in a, in a Christian family. Um, and it's just me and has made things like going to church, praying and reading the Bible just so easy and so normal, which is great. Um, Often when growing up, I could get annoyed and my mum would remind me that I need to read my Bible. Um, <laughs> but this wasn't because um, I was around my mum or I didn't think reading the Bible was important, but more that I knew that I should be reading my Bible, not because my mum told me to, but because um, it's such an important part um, of living a Christian life um, and hearing from God's word. Um, I guess coming to uni, um, you kind of make your faith what you make it really um, and I'm so happy to say that coming to uni my faith's never been stronger I've got to involve the church um, and Emmanuel the Hub and MCOM is consistently the highlight of my week um, which is amazing um, so I guess I'm being baptised here to, to yeah, declare that this is, this is my own faith um, and I really do want to walk with God I'm going to obey him. 
Ever since I found out baptisms would be today, God's been keeping it on my mind. However, there were times where I strayed from God and found myself lost, so I prayed to him, and he told me to read Matthew 18, verse 11, which read, The Son of Man came to save lost people. The story of the lost sheep is one I have heard many times, yet God chose to remind me of its meaning at a time where I needed it. God sent Jesus to save us, the lost and broken, when we were still sinners by dying on the cross to take away our sins. He then rose from the dead to show us that we can have a new life from, with him. After that, I began to focus again on who I am in Jesus, because what God knows about us is more important than what others think of me. I believe that my identity is now in Jesus instead of worldviews, which say you are only special if you have the looks, the brains, the talent. But I choose to trust Jesus for who I am because God says I am special just because no qualification is necessary. <laughs> Jesus is my identity in Him. Jesus is my identity in Him gives me true life, life in all its fullness. Because Jesus is the bread of life which fills the happiness void inside our hearts, which wants to be satisfied. I believe that only Jesus can fill, fill that void and give us true life, not worldly possessions or ideas, only Jesus. World identity gives us weak roots which shrivel, but Jesus, the living water, gives us strong roots and a strong faith. I have decided to choose to live this new life with Jesus, leaving the lost, old, broken life behind to follow him and get baptised.
pretty clear problem. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I feel like I've been reflecting on that verse quite a bit over the last week. Um, and it just says that like God has chosen you, he's chosen me, that he's continuously pursued me, um, and I want to pursue him back. I want to live my life for Christ, and I want 